So one tool that's really useful to have in a shop, no matter if it's a woodworking shop or a metalworking shop, is a good big sandbag like this. Now you can buy these, they're not very expensive. You can get a six inch bag for maybe 20 bucks, a 10 inch bag for 30, 40 bucks. You can get a really big bag, I think Eastwood makes, it's like $80. Um, but this is one that I made. So this is made out of leather and I got it from a Joanne Fabric. It's one of those times when your wife takes you to Joanne Fabric and you're just wandering around the aisles. And I went into this aisle and it had a assorted leather in a bag, three pounds for 10 bucks. And I'm like, I can use that. So I bought it and one big section of leather I cut into two 12 inch circles and I sewed a stitch all the way around. I actually went around twice and it's a zigzag stitch. So it's really secure, really tight. Nothing's gonna leak out. I did leave a small opening in the front and that allowed me to put a funnel in there. I went out to our backyard and just started shoveling some really fine sand from our yard and I poured it into this bag. Now it's not completely full. It's probably 70, 80% full, but that gives it enough room that you can shape it and mold it. So it's quite heavy. Like I said, it's a 12 inch diameter bag. The stitch is probably a half inch in. Um, once I added the sand, I sewed up that seam as well. Um, it's good for a lot more things than you would think of. I, the obvious choice is metalwork. So with metalworking, you're gonna need other tools, like I have an anvil on a stand and a, and a vise. Those are really useful, but, and you can shape things on an anvil, but to get nice round curved shapes on a piece of metal, a, a sandbag is a great tool to have. You can, you can form it. Kind of like people sometimes will make a bowl, they'll take a log and they'll form a cup and use that to form it. This can work in the same way. and you can shape it with a hammer like that. Um, but that's just one use for it. I remember on the very first Motorcycle Mania that came out many years ago with Jesse James, he was making his tanks out of aluminum and he was using a sandbag and a wooden mallet to form the gas tanks. But this is great for weighing things down. I know uh, on shooting ranges, people use sandbags and they can set their gun on it. It's just a really versatile thing to have in a shop, no matter if it's woodworking or metalworking. Um, a lot of people use it as a rest to put things on that are weird shaped and it just holds it as, it, as opposed to rolling around on a desk. You can shape it, set things in there, and it's nice and stable. And it's nice to work on, a, a nice leather rest. You can do fine work. I saw people were doing jewelry and things like that on small pads. It's a nice rest to, to mold and shape and, and to hold things nice and securely and, and it's not gonna roll around on you or move. But it's something that once you have it in your shop, you find a ton more uses for it. Um, you find all sorts of reasons why you can have it and use it for holding things down and working on it and securing things. So let me know what you think. Thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.